Hey, what's up everybody? Andy here uh, from Nostalgic About Baseball doing a little contest response for uh, my friend Tony over at Psyched on Baseball Cards who is awesome and I'll put a link to his channel below so everybody can check him out but uh, he's he's a super nice guy who is extremely knowledgeable about the hobby, uh, about the sport, um, about baseball history and you know he'll he'll feature random players from say a 1960 top set um, or something like that and he'll do a little research and when you watch his videos you'll always learn interesting things about uh, players that you might not have otherwise so <clears throat> I really like Tony's channel it's one of my favorites so I'm happy to put together this response for him and he's um, He's marking a one year on YouTube and 400 subscribers, which is great, and it's well-deserved, and I hope um, he gets at least a few more from this video here. Uh, anyway, so great job, Tony. Keep it up, please. Um, all right, so he asked us to show our three best pickups from this year um, and to list uh, in order which cards we'd like to win if we are lucky enough to be picked in the top three. So I'll do that at the end, but okay. So just a, a quick disclaimer, I got back into collecting this year. So almost every card in my collection, with the exception of a, a handful that remained from my childhood are ones that I picked up in 2018. And so it's hard to choose three. Um, I've not spent a lot of money on any one card. I think maybe 20 bucks, uh, 30 bucks is the most I've spent on a single anything. But I have got, I have been able to pick up a lot. So um, I had to pick three and I tried not to overthink it too much. So I'll show you what I came up with anyway. Um, the first one is this 1959 Al Kaline, which I just think is. Uh, is a great looking card um, obviously raw and I, I did not pay a whole lot for this but I just think it's so good looking um, and it seems to be in pretty good shape there's a little rolled corner up here and, and down here too um, and the centering could be better left to right but I mean for what I paid for it I think it's well worth it so I was happy to get this still kind of blows my mind that I get that I can even own cards from the 50s and 60s like that. Um, next one is a similar time frame. I've got this 1961 uh, Bob Gibson in a four. Um, and I don't know how it shows up on camera, but in person I feel like it, it presents a lot better than a four. Um, it's a bit off-center, left to right, uh, but I don't really see much, uh, you know, of any edge issues or corner issues, and uh, the colors are really nice. Um, I just think it's a good-looking card, and again, never thought that I'd be able to own, you know, Hall of Famers like this from the 60s. Um, yeah, I could have picked a number of cards here. Um, Killebrew, Frank Robinson, um... Brooks Robinson, some other ones that I've been able to, to acquire this year. It just kind of blows my mind still. But anyway, I went with this one, so there you go. And here is uh, a card that I just got recently that I have not shown. And it's just one of those ones um, from when I was a kid that everybody wanted to have. And it's uh, Bonos Baseball. It's his rookie card from 86 Tops, traded. Um, in a mint nine so I paid 20 bucks for this which uh, was a great price as far as I'm concerned um, you know the tens are a lot more expensive um, and it's tough to find them anyway uh, I think I think the reason they're so expensive is uh, number one very collectible player but also this black border tends to uh, show issues dramatically so anyway um i love this card um big bo jackson fan as a kid even though he went to auburn um 
so yeah, that's my three. Um, as far as my order for the three cards that Tony is giving away, number one would be the 1980 Braves um, team card, and then uh, number two, I guess, would would be like I'd, I'd do the Evan Longoria, and then the the Bregman Cup card um, third. Uh, but really, I don't care if I win or not. I, I wanted to do this video um, to support Tony, um, and that's it, really. So he's great. Again, if you haven't checked him out yet, please do. He's such a like awesome member of this community, and he showed me a lot of support early on and made me feel really welcome, and I, I appreciate that a lot. Um, anywho, that's all I got. I'll keep. I'll end this now. Um, congratulations, Tony. Uh, thank you everybody for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.